Hey guys, it's the Tin Man on this nice, warm, sunny day. I got some really interesting facts here. I want you to really pay attention and, uh, yeah, just go with it and at the end, think about it later and come to your conclusions. Peace out. Well, not necessarily peace out, but peace out on that. You see that right there? I don't know if I got any pictures on it or anything like that. I hope I have, because I put that there, and I can't remember if it would have been since I came back from the island or before I went to the island. I almost have a feeling it was before the island, but even so, I've been back for a while here, a month or so, maybe, I can't, I'm not really into thinking about it, but um, yeah, you see this though, see how that's built up like that, see how the same look is right there? It's built up like that. That might be juniors practicing and such. But you see how that's like a cave there now? And then if you came along and you put smaller rocks into there, and then you put smaller rocks into the smaller rocks, so you started to do like this, right? And it started to become more like, just like that. You know, it went through different stages, say from this stage to this stage to this stage. And then it becomes to this stage. And then what do you think is actually happening under these stages right here? Think nothing's happening? You want me to give you an idea what could be happening? This video won't last very long. It's the last of my tape. I hope it doesn't run out. You see that rock? It's got one point right there that it's sitting on, right? You see that one right there? Okay, I'm going to hit pause and come around to the other side. There we go. Back off a of pause. That's that same rock. So it has its one touching point on that other side that we could see. And that one and that one. Isn't that amazing? Part of the reason is because I want to get this big pit. I want to be able to show you guys. You see those big black holes down there and stuff? Well, if we come over here, I've been watching this all change. Change, change, change. I've been watching it become bigger. I've been watching it turn into this. I videotaped it sometimes, but there was one that I felt was pretty interesting here. And hopefully I got enough video time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pause because I want to get my light on. And now the stick is extended, so you're going for a ride. Get myself into a better position here. Huh? spin of you. So, that's bigger than the average dog house. If a dog had a play yard and had that for a house, stay relatively dry what do you think would be going on okay. what do you think could be going on in this uh, this whole site here within those logs within all these crevices with all these crevices that get bigger and bigger and then uh, when you come along and you look at this rock like that piece right there, see the difference in it? See the fragments right there? Stuff's just constantly always breaking down. Because they end up wanting it to even these granular sizes. Like these granulars have been here for how long now since this place is, uh, you know, maybe we can get into even finer, you know? All that real fine sand, granular stuff has been sitting on this pillar of weather, pounding snow and weather and stuff, it's because there's stuff constantly be just being chipped away here and stuff, that's why sand fragments off of these rocks would be very common, very common, you see the difference in the color of these rocks here, see the difference, there's difference in colors of rocks, I'm not telling you because I want you to believe me on this spot, 
I'm telling you because you get to study at your spot.